everyone. In this video, we're going to discuss how we can share the Bird Box camera's images or videos with other people. Well, we already know that how we can receive the image from the Bird Box camera on our phones, like our smart devices, our laptops. There is an application and we can watch the cameras or the recordings on it. Sometimes we want to share with other bird lovers or our friends or families. In this occasion, we can use our many ways to share with people. Because we don't want to, you know, f us please ourselves only. We want to pleasure everyone who loves birds. That's like almost everyone. So in this video, I'll tell you guys three ways to share our images or videos with other people. Now, let's take a look at the first method. The first method is quite simple, if you know how to use our app. So we take out our phones, open our app, and then we choose our camera. We're waiting for the uh, camera to show its image. And now we have the image. Imagine that the birds are you know, playing inside. So you can see there's a little scissor in the middle row. You click on it, it, it will start clipping a video for at least four seconds. And then after, okay, they stop playing and now stop. It will be saving and now you can see interesting video. C click here to share. I'll do it again because I kind of missed it. And I click, okay, it's saving. I'll click here to share. And you can see there's many options here. We can uh, send it to Facebook, Twitter, or messages to our friends. And there is another way. If there's, you only want to like screenshot the current image when you make it full screen, there, the lower button that looks like a camera, that button, you press it. It screenshots it and the same you click to share and there's a lot of apps you can social media like emails or text you can send it out so it's pretty convenient okay that's the first way now let's take a look at the second way the second way is as easy as well is using the micro SD card well you know it's a micro SD card it's small you can just like take it out and either uh, make a copy of the video or just you give them this SD card after you give them this SD card, they can access the video however they want. And the third method is kind of only okay with like friends you're close to or who you trust because it's like sharing your credentials. You're going to have to give out your username and password. Like when you see us logging in, we have a username and password. If you give them yours, they can log on to your account. Then take a look at the cameras that you have selected to add to your list. So give this one to the people you trust. Now that's all three methods we usually use to share our camera and now there's a fourth way actually but this is more complicated a little it's showing live stream of your camera on YouTube or other uh, streaming platforms. Well st showing your, sharing your camera on YouTube st streaming it uh, you're gonna have to use a lot of software, a PC and you're going to have to operate it at the, can at the can uh, computer. So I'll teach you guys in the next video how to do that actually. The good thing about a YouTube sh uh, stream is you can share with anyone around the world. Whoever clicks to your stream, they can watch your bird box camera no matter where they are. Alright, that's pretty much it for today. Uh, thank you guys for your time. If you have any more questions, please post them at the section below. And I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye.